What's going on beautiful people? It's your boy Lando Success. This video is brought to you by Moo Moo. If you want you some free stocks, all you have to do is click the link pinned to the top of the comments. You're going to get free stocks up to $2,000 each. You can get you up to six free stocks just by depositing $100 or you can get 10 for depositing $2,000. All right, so let's first talk about what to expect in the week ahead. You got Bed Bath & Beyond. You got Chewy. So if Moomoo, they give you the U.S. earning calendar from August 29th through September 2nd. Well, we got before the bill, after the bill. But main thing you want to look at is the companies that actually matter. You got HP. You got Chewy. Chewy is a big one on Tuesday. And if you keep on going down five below, it's not going to be a big market move or anything really popping too much right there when it come down to stocks but on this part you got the u.s economy calendar and fed speakers so nothing popping on monday but on tuesday we have some stuff and we have the consumer confidence index so they got the expectations we're gonna see how many job openings we have a bunch of analytical numbers we got the unemployment rate to see if that went up or if that went down so shout out to Moomoo to be able to give us stuff like that. Now, if we look at my watch list, the one that was up was Alliance Resource. What I told everybody, this is the best stock in the world to buy. In my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor, but every single indication show how amazing this is a great stock to buy. While everything else is red, you know, you got some good ones. So Tesla after hours is down. So Tesla is going to be way under $300. So we're going to start buying in. I haven't started buying. I did buy in once, only with a few dollars. But I'm going to start getting a strong position with Tesla. If it's under $300, that's going to be a good buy. Coinbase is going to go down heavy tomorrow because you got cryptocurrency is going down heavy. And we're going to have a few things in the after hours going down very, very fast. Now. So now if we look at everything over here, it's a investors ramp up bets against stock market as summer rally fizzles. So they saying it's not looking good at all what to watch this week. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the stocks completely perform. Let's go over to good old cryptocurrency right now. The market is down close to 2% over the last 24 hours. You have Bitcoin down 1%. ETH is taking a bigger hit down 3%. Finally broke under $20,000 and it's staying under there right now. So it's interesting. It's a good buy-in mark to still get in under $20,000 because we don't know if it's going to rally right past it and keep on going. And you see ETH is well under 1500 So it's the same thing same analytics with bitcoin but it's going down a lot faster and it's good to see bnb is actually in the green in the last 24 hours because people are actually still buying you have cardano taking a big hit finally broke that 45 cent level went down to 43 solana under 30 dollars is a win yes buy up yo solana under 30 dollars it's hard to get it but once you get it, it's going to be good. So definitely have some buy orders in right there. That's a good opportunity. You got Shiba down 2%. You have Dogecoin down 3%. Manic down 5%. So Manic is taking a beating with the last day. But you look at their 7-day average, they're down only 5% because they actually was holding strong. I would definitely recommend looking into buying into Matic right now because that's a smart one and that's a good one. Ethereum Classic is down close to 7% last week and almost 6%, well, almost 7% in the last day. That's a good buy. You get FTX token only down close to 1%. Now you look at Kronos. Kronos is down the highest out of all of these exchanges down 2%. Once we get 10, once we get 10 cent a coin or under, that's going to be a great buy-in area right there. I love some Algorand. Good buy. ApeCoin under $5. That's also good buy. You got them down 8% in the last day or close to it. Sandbox, good. You got anything under 10 cent with HBAR Hedera is good. This is a long-term play. Do not plan to sell any Hedera anytime soon. Let's keep on seeing. Do we have anything else popping off? 
Now, even in the green, you don't see too many really is doing too well in the green literally over the last 24 hours. We can look on Coinbase and probably give us a little bit more indicators if we look at the top gainers in the last 24 hours. Let's see. We got Mav. XYO. XYO is doing good. Anybody been buying any XYO? Any play depths? Um, I don't know if I own any XYO. I don't think so. I did a few videos covering them. Golem. But none of the main top really 50 cryptos is really doing too much. Now let's see if we look at the top losers. You don't have nothing too bad, but you have Avalanche close to 10%. I will probably stay away from Avalanche. If it's going down this hard, it might go down even harder. Because um, I'm an Avalanche fan, but when you are down that big, ooh, yeah, um, this is not a good indication of a bounce back anytime soon. So I will slow down those buy orders on Avalanche. So just want to kick it with you guys before the market starts tomorrow. I'm Lando Sess. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you don't have no free stocks with Moomoo. They are doing a promotion where you can literally get some free stocks. Just do a deposit of $100 or do a deposit of $2,000. Let me know which free stocks you end up getting. Talk to you guys later.